Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use regular expressions in Google Sheets. If you don't yet know how to write regular expressions, you can watch my regular expression essentials tutorials which I'll put a link to in the description. There are three main functions in Google Sheets that use regular expressions, which are regex extract, regex match, and regex replace. I will show you the usages of these functions in spreadsheets. First, I will use regex extract to get the first names of all of these people. So I'll make a column called first name, and the formula will be regex extract. The text will be A2, which will be the cell that I want to do the replacement on. And then the second parameter is the regular expression. So if we want the first word, I can say backslash W for word characters, and plus to get one or more. Now this will extract the first name of each of these people. Now let's say I want to do the last name. I'll use regex extract on the same cell, but instead of backslash w plus, I'll put a dollar sign at the end. This will mean a word that ends with the end of the string. So only the last word in the string will be matched. Now let's say I want to get the initials of a person. I'll use regex extract and use the same cell. We'll start with a capturing group, which will be the first letter of the string, and then backslash w plus to get the rest of the word. And we can say dot star question mark to get any number of characters, but the smallest possible group we can make before finding backslash w, we also capture this one, followed by backslash w plus and the end of the string. Now this returns A as the first match and V as the second match, and it will fill in the rows horizontally. So if there are more caption groups, they fill in these cells. Now if I want these to be in the same cell, I can use the concatenate function which will take a range of cells and turn them into one. And if I do these for the remaining cells, you get the initials of each person. Next, we will look at regex replace. I will make another column that will have the digits only. The formula for this will be regex replace. The text is the first parameter. The second parameter is the regular expression we want to replace, which will be characters that are not backslash d one or more times, and replace that with an empty string. Now if we run this, it will remove the dashes from this text. If we copy this down, you'll notice that there are three values it did not work with. That's because these are numbers. The regex replace function only works on text. There are a few ways to convert this to text. The simplest way might be to just concatenate the number with an empty string, and you see if we copy this down, it will work on these numbers as well. If you want your formulas to be easier to read, you can instead use the toText function, which is to underscore text, and we'll copy this down and it will be the same. Let's say we want to normalize these phone numbers into the same format. Let's say we want to add dashes, like this phone number, but to all of these. We can take the regex replace on the digits only, get the capturing groups backslash d three times, then another capturing group backslash d three times, and then another capturing group backslash d four times. Now the replacement we dollar one to refer to the first caption group, hyphen dollar two to refer to the second caption group, and then dollar three. This will add in hyphens after the first three digits and after the next three digits. Let's say one to obscure the last four digits of the phone number. We can use this formula like we did before, but instead of dollar three we'll use XXXX, and now the last four digits of the phone number are hidden. Next, we will look at regex match. 
we can say valid and we'll check if these are valid email addresses. The formula for this will be equals regex match. The first parameter is the text. The second is the regular expression we want to check the text against. It will check if the regular expression is matched anywhere within the text. So if we say dot plus at sign dot plus, this will check if we have characters followed by an at sign followed by more characters. In other words, this will check if the text contains an at sign and it is in the middle. If we copy this down, we will see that the ones that do not have an at sign, such as this one and this one, will have the word false and the other ones will have true. Now let's say we want to make sure there's exactly one at sign, so that this email address, which has two at signs, will be invalid. We can do this by putting a start of string anchor at the beginning, an end of string anchor at the end, and then instead of dot, you can say not at sign, and then instead of dot here, also not at sign. So now this will find from the beginning of the string any characters that are not at signs, and then an at sign, and then any characters that are not at signs, and then the end of the string. And if you can find all of those, then there is only one at sign. And you see that this email address with two at signs is now not valid. Next, we will look at an example of parsing a bio. Let's say we want to find the gender of all of these people. We can look for the gender of each of these people in their bio using regex extract. The regular expression will be male or female. So we can say male or female, but you notice that not all of these have the same case. Some of them are all uppercase, like this one has male all uppercase, and some have the first letter capitalized. So we want to make sure that all of these will be matched and not just lowercase ones. So we can do that by putting the case insensitive flag. You can do this by putting question mark I in parentheses at the beginning of the regular expression. This string right here, open parentheses, question mark, I, close parentheses, at the beginning of the regular expression, turns on the case insensitive flag, which means that whether male is uppercase, lowercase, or a mixture of uppercase and lowercase, it will be matched by this regular expression. So if you fill this in, you'll see that it matched male here, female here, male here, etc. Now let's say we want it to be two options, either male or female, and we don't want different variations. We can use the lower function, and this will convert this to lowercase. So all of these will be either male lowercase or female lowercase, and no variations. If we want to get the age from their bio, we can say equals regex extract, use the text, and we can find where there is multiple digits and the plus will mean is a string of digits, not just the first one, and then this will give us 25. Now if there's more than one number in the string, you'll have to be careful because this will always match the first number that's, that appears. So if someone were to have a number in their bio before their age, it would instead take the first number. In this case, context would be necessary to figure out what the age is. If you know that everyone's age is going to be either two digits or more, then you can use two comma, and it'll only find ages that have two or more digits. If you want to learn more about regular expressions, see the links in the description. I have a whole playlist on regular expressions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. Bye!